Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another Creation Club mod review. And we've just got the Nordic jewellery, which was a bit meh. Uh, so in this video, we'll be looking at the Pets of Skyrim mod, and uh, is it worth the 300 credits? Let's take a look. Okay, so we're still in Solstheim, we haven't got the Nordic uh, jewellery, and uh, actually I got very lucky, I got a Chaos Enchanted Weapon from Glaver Mallory, so I am a happy, happy Tyrene. Okay, first thing we've got to do is pop over to the Banner of Mare. Welcome. And that's in White Run, if you thing. didn't know that. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. And one tame mountain goat, able to carry a hefty amount of weight uh, to the throat of the world and back again, gives good milk if interested, blah blah blah. So we've got to go to Rorikstead. Yeah, Rorikstead. I'll cut this down as much as I can, all the travelling and stuff. Okay, so here we are at Rorikstead. But before we do anything, let's nom all this lovely uh, wheat. Nom nom. Nom nom. Nom nom. Nom nom. No one's batting an eyelid here. We can this will be useful for us later. As I always say to you guys, always grab the ingredients when you're going. Yes. You'll be surprised how much you pick up. Uh, can I buy you gold, please, sir? Here's my offer: two hundred gold. So I'll price. pay for the mod and I'll go pay for the goat. Fantastic. Okay, that was um, a warm and friendly business transaction. Okay, so let's take a little look at Hilda then. Hey there, buddy, wanna come with me? I'm guessing that's Bar. Okay, I've got to find out more about Hilda, do that in a minute. Oh, so look, let's see what we can do. We can uh, come with me. Okay. Uh, wait here, I need you to carry something. Okay. That's pretty good. And you can wait for me at home. And I've only got mere watch at the moment. I don't think my campsite actually counts as a home. But you can set a home. You can say this is your home from now on. Uh, I think you see the option at the bottom there. Okay, let's equip your pack. Okay, that's cool. And stay here, this is a new home. So if you are camping, uh, there you go. And we have to find some more information about that and read Halver's journal. Okay. Came in town a few days ago looking for work. The folk here are nice enough. There's plenty of wheat and potatoes. Need to be harvested, so I've got a steady supply of coin coming in. I don't think I'm going to need my old pack goat Hilda for much longer. All my bones are starting to creak. I've been a long days. Now I just need to find some willing to take care of her. Maybe get a few coins for her too. They're strengthening those old bones for her yet. Oh, how I'm going to miss her. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you can read that if you want. Actually, it's kind of nice. They're putting a little bit of backstory into uh, everything. Uh, with all the animals and uh, this mod. Okay, there's Hilda then. Um, Pets of Skyrim. Find the tame rabbit, find the tame skeever, tame spider, blah 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 blah. Okay, won't do them in any particular order. And. Well, there's one there, and. It's the nearest place I can go. It's like the Atronax stone, and probably going for the spider actually. Yeah, go for the spider. Kronvanga cave discovered. Oh, just boy. Nom nom. Oh, dragon's tongue. Nom nom. Okay, let's crack on. Oh, what can it mum smell? Oh, oh yes, yeah, I don't. I can't touch a mammoth, so I feel sorry for him. Okay. All 
Right, as usual on these quests, I'm going to dash and bash. Yeah, that's not a spider I'm going to pick up, is it? No, clearly not. The idea of crouching behind you. If you dare let one go, then you could forget me helping you. Oh, there's a lot of spiders coming up here. <laughs> oh, I'm out of magic. Oh. oh, God, one of that was that's in the go. That freaked me out a little bit there. Okay, and if I remember rightly, there you go. It's been ages since I've been in this cave, but uh, I love that little secret entrance there. And I'm guessing this is where the spider's going to be. I've been lucky up to now. I haven't had any uh, vampire attacks yet. But I have the feeling that may... That may change soon. But if I'm going to be honest with you, doing uh, the alternate uh, start, um, not having dragons annoying you all the time is brilliant. Okay, right. Oh, hold on. Oh, damn. I don't like fire, so... Oh. oh, that was a quick fight. What have we got here? Gold. Okay, vampire dust, weak magic poison. Don't need the armor, even though I actually like vampire armor. Vampire dust. Oh, no, we want those carrots. Take them. Oh, take those. Oh, vampire, that's it, spider cage, that's what we want. One destruction, yep, I'll take that. And, uh, books. Vampire, better clean these out, actually. Okay. Right, okay, I'll leave you guys to read that. I'll just do a little bit of loot in here. Uh, before we pick up uh, the spider. Oh, book. I think frostbite spider. Smells like vampires and spiders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm planning to do like a, a full uh, working guide on Inigo. Um, spectacular follower. And I don't use him to his uh, full capability. Oh, that's good. Fire arrows, ice arrows, yeah. Smells like vampires and spiders in here. Maybe vampire spiders? Hmm. Okay. And talk to him. Okay, there you go. Oh, we carry stuff as well. That's handy. watch okay so you send him home and come with me squeals with joy okay now he can spin a web which actually uh, traps uh, your enemies so let's take a quick look at that okay spin a web trap and there you go and your enemy would like uh, run into that and uh, he'll be trapped so, on the, on the face of it, uh, that's uh, pretty good. 
Well, not so much in real life, I'll explain why later on. And next up we go and get the fox, which is near Half Moon uh, Mill. Okay, get to the bridge, hook a left. Well, you got the mission markers anyway, they show you where to go. Okay. Hey buddy, you hungry? Now find out more about the fox. Feet's journal, nom nom, gold. Sweet roll. And unenchanted Thieves Guild armor, which I've got a stack of now. Okay, talk sweet roll. Oh no, we actually quickly read his journal first. Where's the Thieves Journal? Ah, Thieves Journal, there you go. Okay, I'll let you guys read this. But as before, it's a nice little bit of backstory, so definitely worth reading. Hey, the sweet roll, what a treat. And you give him a sweet roll, and now he's yours. And teleport pet, sweet roll is added. Okay. So you can only have two pets at one time. So we've got the spider and the goat, so you've got to send one home. And what you do is, well, you send them anywhere you like. Set this as new home, send them to a city, or wait for me at home, and then it gives you the list. Oh, Mere Watcher, as I said before, is my only official home at the moment. Okay, now we can get Sweet Rod to come with us. Now, uh, his little trick is to hunt for treasure. Um, and he's absolutely crap at it. <laughs> he really is. But he can carry stuff for you. Um, to be honest, all the little things, that unique things these pets do, um, they're rubbish. To be honest, I, I can't say anything else apart from that. Absolutely rubbish. And, uh, yeah, sadly. Um, okay, so right, next one is we want, uh, we'll probably go and get the, uh, yeah, so once we go and get, probably get the rabbit first. And where is it? Should we go and get the skiver first? No, we go and get the rabbit first. Okay, near Iverstead. Okay, and you find the uh, abandoned shack here. You can pick up a lot of good ingredients here while you're here, by the way. Okay, and there's your little bunny. Remember, we've got some carrots. Oh, bleeding crown. Like I say, you get some decent ingredients here. And if you haven't brought, got any carrots, you get some in this box. Okay. Okay, and uh, we'll probably just quickly look out of the way. Now, this is the thing with all these, by the way, they, they get in your way uh, quite a lot. Okay, comes to a brilliant decision. Local floor scenes have many useful properties that I've been able to utilise into new potions outside the rich soils allowed the cuttings I've collected to grow into fine and bountiful plants. This afternoon I think I will journey out for more mushrooms and my current supplies begin to dwindle. Okay, right. No Suntain Rabbit. Okay, I'll let you read that. Right, uh, okay, oh, butterfly in a jar, there you go guys, worth coming just for that, fire salts, want carrots, we obviously want apples because we can start poisoning people soon, 
Like I say, there's some decent ingredients around if you if you hunt around. Conjurer's filter. Actually, that's quite good. Okay. Anything in the barrel? And what we've got here? Spider eggs. Oh, jolly good. Right. I think that's just about plundered it. Oh, no. Okay, so. Have this all one a treat. Squeal. And you give him a carrot, and now he's your, your thing. Come with me, but... Uh, yeah, usual command. Okay, so you've got to dismiss one of these. So we'll send a Sweet Roll back home. Okay. Right. And he can carry stuff. So if you want a rabbit, you've got Dover rabbits off Nexus, um, which is probably better, to be honest with you. Go find an ingredient, and it, it takes him an age to do anything. And then quite often he'll go when there isn't any ingredients. You see that I'm hunting around, there's that no ingredient here. There were ingredients popular, there, don't you think? but uh, it's all people ever seem to none eat. now. So basically, he's pretty damn useless. Okay, so last and uh, possibly not least is the skeever, which we find in the Ratway in Rifton. Okay, and it's actually not deep. It's not deep into the Ratway, so that's good. Yeah, so we just go straight down to uh, just in front of the red flagon. And she's in here somewhere. Oh, that's, that's no, that's not her. Oh, there she's over there. Okay, Skiva Cage, Key, Gold, Pickpockets Journal, and rubbish okay so she's got a journal you want to read that yeah I'm trying to cut out as much um, uh, content as I can to just keep the video as short as possible okay so right let's uh, pop down and get a little skiver friend Okay, and come with me, and go and find food, and that's it, we've got all the pets, now he does actually find food, um, he's quite good at it, but hey, this, I mean, you know, how much food do you need in, uh, in uh, Skyrim? Okay, so send him home. Okay, time to get my thoughts on this mod. Now, I love having pets and followers and stuff like that. And, uh, well, I, I'll tell you what I think. I, th I think this is a really good idea, but it's, it's fairly poorly executed. Uh, none of the animals' special skills really are that great. They get in your way in, in doorways. However, you can teleport them to you, uh, fill them up with stuff, and then send them home. It does take them some time to get home. Um, things like the spider web was actually um, really disappointing to me. Um, you couldn't actually say put a spider web here. It can only put one web down. Um, so it's pretty damn useless. It's kind of a novel idea, but you'd end up never using it. Um, uh, the rabbit, well, if we get rare ing ingredients, say from rare curio uh, curios, uh, that would be actually interesting, um, but it doesn't. Um, the fox, just, well, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it finds your bits and bob. Uh, the skeever does find food. Now, we'll be doing a video on food at some stage, but uh, food's easy to come by in Skyrim, so all pretty useless. So, would I recommend you, recommend you buying it? Well, at 300 credits, uh, uh, unless you want an animal pet or pet follower, um, I've got to say no. You know... However, would I buy it? Well, yes, I would have bought this anyway because in my final home, which uh, 
I will be making fairly soon. I like to populate it with as many people and animals as I possibly can. And this is a really good way for me to do this. So, uh, yeah, for me personally, it is useful. But if I was tight with money, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't get it. You know, there are other mods around and uh, I'd probably go for those. So, all in all, unfortunately, um, out of all this lot, Mere Watch and Rare Curious were really good uh, mods, and Nordic Jewelry and Pets of Skyrim are a little bit meh. So, uh, yeah, sad really, and I don't like to put uh, mods down because obviously a lot of effort goes into it. But, you know, you've got to give something, and people are paying their money, you've got to get something for it. And, and unfortunately, for the last two mods I refused, reviewed, sorry, you haven't got anything for your money, in my opinion. Anyway, that's just my opinion. You can make up your mo own mind and hopefully I've given you enough information to do so. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. See you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.